The past year has seen a spike in the number of baby boomers opting to travel overseas to undergo surgery. Dr Ralph Bright, cosmetic physician at Macquarie Cosmetic Medicine, says baby boomers are now choosing to change their lives. For many of these people, it is something that they have perceived to be um, less than desirable for many, many years. And they've just hidden this particular aspect, like they always wear trousers, never wear a skirt. They never take that particular piece of clothing off in front of anybody. And then suddenly one day they say, that's it. I've had enough. I'm going to fix it. Whilst it's hard to put an exact amount on the cosmetic surgery tourism industry, it's predicted some $850 million will be spent on cosmetic surgery by Australians this year alone. And the baby boomers will make up a whopping third of this total spend. Amid a three-year study into this phenomenon, Dr Meredith Jones from the University of Technology, Sydney, says cosmetic surgery tourism is popular because it can combine cheaper surgery with a holiday. Cosmetic surgery tourism is, is usually, or the, often the way it's understood, is it's people from uh, overdeveloped or wealthy countries like Australia travelling to countries that um, are less developed, like, for example, Thailand, that's my my particular country that I look at, in order to have uh, cosmetic surgery that is not only significantly cheaper, but that also is perceived as having um, certain other benefits. For example, um, joining it with a holiday, being able to go and do it with friends. The cosmetic surgery tourism industry is booming not only because of dramatic price differences of surgeries performed overseas, but because of the quality of surgery and care available. Dr Jones and several other leading university researchers from Australia and Britain are working together on a study called the Sun, Sand and Silicon Project. This study looks at Australians and Britons who have travelled to popular cosmetic tourism destinations and documents their all-round experience in a bid to get a complete understanding of the entire cosmetic surgery tourism process. This wasn't how the project began. We didn't think it would have this outcome. But one of the things we are going to probably end up doing is debunking some of the myths around cosmetic surgery tourism. So actually saying, you know, in some of our reports and articles, actually, you know, what we've seen, it's not really any more dangerous than having cosmetic surgery at home. With over 50 Australians a month crossing the seas to undergo cosmetic surgery tourism, Dr Jones says it's more than just a trend probably more than a trend, it's probably, you know, more of a, a movement. Even though the perceptions of cosmetic surgery tourism is dramatically transforming, Dr Ralph Bright says cosmetic surgery tourism still has some pitfalls. It hasn't totally transformed yet. And when you talk to the surgeons and the doctors in places like Thailand and China, what they will tell you is that they are very concerned because what they're doing is state of the art, but one block away, there'll be someone who's doing it in a tin shack at very poor standards. And of course, it's that person that gives the better clinics a bad name. So they're very much aware that medical tourism is suffering because of the bad operators. And, and for them, it's a livelihood, it's a way of life, it's a, they have a passion for it, it's something they enjoy, and they want to see the standards for the whole of their country rising and, 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 and it is slowly rising and the governments are very concerned about it. These concerns are highlighting the importance of worldwide organisations such as the International Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons and the International Confederation of Plastic Reconstructive and Aesthetic Surgery, which represents surgeons across the globe. Daniela Pratico, Director of Medi Makeovers, a cosmetic surgery tourism agency, says that Australians are not only getting cosmetic surgery abroad, but also other general procedures. Very surprised at the number and the, the rising number of people actually deciding to go overseas. Not just for plastic surgery, actually, or dental. They're actually looking at other countries now for, for general procedures. I mean, Thailand is, is quite advanced in, in many, many surgical procedures, knee replacements, hip replacements, heart surgery. IVF treatments and you'll find that the Australians are actually starting to educate themselves a lot more about procedures overseas. Whilst information is more accessible in today's globalised environment, 
Dr Jones recommends people extensively research before making any decisions. What I do recommend is trust nobody except yourself and do your own research. Yvette Stoop, Baby Zoomers magazine.